Good evening and welcome to Geelong Newsbeat. A special program again today. As you would be well aware, it has uh, in the past week it's been Mental Health Awareness Week. Today we're visiting the Roslyn Road Primary School in Belmont, an outer suburb of our great city of Geelong, where they're having a special Mental Health and Awareness Day. A very, very practical demonstration of the youth and the way in which they're able to embrace the world of mental awareness as they develop in their years and hopefully overcome what is becoming a very, very depressing and anxiety state in our community. So stay with us on Geelong Newsbeat as we join the happy faces and all the activities as at Robert Roslyn Primary School and Mental Awareness and Wellbeing Day. Roslyn Primary School, that's where we're at for Mental Awareness and Wellbeing Day. And joining us is the man they call The Rock. Yes, Peter Robertson, the principal of Roslyn Primary. Congratulations, Peter, and a, a wonderful day for uh, Mental Awareness and Wellbeing Day. Well, thank you very much, Graham. It's, it's a great day to be here. Always a great day to be here, though. But it is a really good thing for us, for the community, for the kids, to be aware of the mental health of themselves, and particularly for our kids. Uh, it's something that we're very proud of, and Cherie Dalton has done a magnificent job organising us. A great initiative, and uh, you mentioned Cherie Dalton. Uh, it's been a, a big team effort from Roslyn Primary School. Well, it has been, but it's, Cherie's done most of the work. I can't claim any of the credit. Cherie has been fantastic. She's organised us, organised speakers from Barwon Health and from uh, other parts of Geelong who have been fantastic helping us. Uh, we've got dietitians, uh, music therapists, and it's been, just been a fantastic day. And the children are enjoying it, which is the main thing. And Roslyn Primary School, for our viewers, uh, particularly up there in the uh, outer suburbs of Geelong in Melbourne, um, good morning, good evening. Um, Roslyn Primary School's got a wonderful long history. It's uh, one of the more oldest schools around our district, isn't oh, it? We're, we're 57 years old this year. We've been here for a long time. I'd, I'd like to have brand new buildings here. That'd be fantastic, but that's, that's, some, that's another story. But, yeah, it's a great school. We've got lovely kids, lovely community, uh, and we're very proud of our, the way our school operates and very proud of the results from our school. But things like this make our school that much more special, that we can do things for children that will affect them all through their lives, that uh, the mental health and well-being, very important. So this is something that we pride ourselves on. And one of the strong elements of uh, support from the, uh, the community has been uh, the fact that you've been able to bring in specialists from particular fields and working with the children, uh, all free of charge. Oh, and that, that's been a bonus for us. Bowen Health have been magnificent. We've been able to get uh, a little bit of money off them, but most of the people who are here today are doing it for nothing. And that, that is just fantastic. The support from our local community is, is brilliant. And that's um, something that everyone needs. And this will come back and, and help all these children for the rest of their lives. This isn't something that's uh, a one-off thing. From this, it'll just grow and it'll be something that that will benefit these children for a long time. So it's fantastic. Mental Awareness Week, and more particularly, Mental Awareness and Wellbeing Day. And uh, before we get well-being, we're going to be seeing some uh, some great uh, activities that children are involved in. One of our local uh, boy, Glyn Harvey, has been terrific with his support. Oh, fantastic. Glyn's uh, donated a whole lot of fruit for us. And uh, the children, we just went been in the uh, staff room with the prep children with all the fruit. And it was absolutely amazing watching those children with the dietitians and what they've learnt even now has been fantastic and it'll hold them in good stead as I said forever uh, and it's a great initiative and thank you very much to Glenn for his, his generous donations but I think that's part and parcel of him, he's a very generous person which is great. Now before we go uh, Pete, uh, where'd you get the nickname Rock from? <laughs> I'm not going there <laughs> Not going there, well he is the Rock the Rock of Gibraltar at Rodson Primary School, the principal Peter Robertson as we move on to Wellbeing Day and Mental Awareness here at Rossum Primary School. Nutrition is a very important part of well-being and also mental awareness. And here at Rossum Primary School today, we have a couple of dietitians. And Elise is joining us now. Good morning, Elise. How are you? Good morning. Good, thank you. Now, the, look at these wonderful faces and join... What, you keep going with your lesson here yeah. and we'll join in, viewers. We're playing a game of bingo at the moment. So we're just talking about this fruit here. So who was telling me what fruit this was? A kiwi fruit. So has everybody tried kiwi fruit before? Yes. You eat the skin. Okay, does everybody else eat the skin? Yeah, okay, good. All right. So that's one from the fruit food group, isn't it? 
Okay. You can have a new sheet. We've got to get new sheets to keep playing. Bingo. You can keep playing. All right. Next up, we've got what's this one? Got bingo as well? All right. Meat, that's right. Well, I'll be the sheet provider. Okay, so what food group does that come from? The meat food group, that's right. So is meat an everyday food or a sometimes food? That's right, okay. We need meat to keep us nice and strong, don't we? It helps us, especially red meat, yeah, but there's all types of meat that are good for you. And we were talking about tuna before as well, so you can have fish as well as meat. Okay, very good. All right, so next up. So the all-important world of nutrition is a part of mental health and awareness and well-being. And the kids at Rosen Primary School in this particular class, they've got the expertise of a couple of dietitians from local Geelong area who've come in as volunteers to teach the kids all about the world of fruit, vegetables, all forms of different food activities and the goodness that they bring you. Another day in the continuing well-being here at Rosen Primary School as we go to a break on Geelong Newspaper. 